It's about informing the people with the facts to know what's really happening in Thailand, inside government, business, society, with real players, talking to leaders and decision makers, seeking answers with perspective, issues that affect Thailand's future. This is Thailand. This is the Insider Thailand. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to the Insider. The IMF Global Economic Outlook for 2017 is finally looking bright at 3.6% growth and even better at 3.7% in 2018. As an export-oriented country, this upswing to positive growth is an opportunity that Thailand should not miss. Currently, overall we are doing very well. The balance of trade is in surplus with the export growth exceeding that of market expectation. Since its establishment at the heart of Bangkok in 1932 to help promote and facilitate trade and investment, the Thai Chamber of Commerce, known at that time as Samis Chamber of Commerce, has always played a vital role throughout the history of Thailand economic development by forming important business networks, echoing voices and concern from the business community, as well as collaborating with the government and responding to its policy. This week, we are joined by Mr. Galin Salasin, Chairman of Thai Chamber of Commerce, who will share with us his vision on economic development, expectation from the business community, as well as reception from the private sector on how the government policy has supported Thai entrepreneurs. Good Well, it is indeed a special privilege to have you in our today's program. The first question that I would like to ask you and to hear from you is uh, related to the Thailand economic outlook. In your perception, how do you view Thailand economic outlook? At the moment, um, from Thai Chamber of Commerce and Board of Trade, so we think that right now the economy is, is picking up ah. in Thailand. Right now, the, the driving engine right now is the first one is export. We, the growth is about maybe three or four months already that we have a, a growth and another one is our tourism. So a lot of people come to Thailand and this year probably forecast about 34 million uh, or 35 million people visitors. visitors come to Thailand. So that was two uh, driving engines and also right now the, the good you know, uh, momentum is coming along. Uh, we have Japanese, we have uh, Chinese, you have Taiwanese who come to Thailand for, you're looking for the, the new investment in Thailand. Yes. And right now, um, for the EEC, the government have an EEC project. So right now, it's, it's like some time, something like uh, the new new gyms of, of Thailand. Uh, Besides, we have the uh, agriculture, we have a good uh, location, we have good food, we have many things like that. So I think in, on the move of, of coming along with uh, our uh, economies, um, and also, right now, we think that uh, the government expenditures will come out you know, after, after the new years in uh, October. So new projects, and we can see the big, big rock project. We have yes. seen uh, uh, new infrastructure. Many things coming along. So hopefully that this coming along and the, the budget can go through very fast and then the, the implementation will coming along. Mm -hmm. The government is trying very hard in order to drive the, the economic growth for the country, but of course uh, the private sector, business sectors would also need to play a vital role on this area. We all know that right now Thailand is facing the economic challenges. How does Thailand Chamber of Commerce play its role you know, during this time? At the moment, uh, in each province we have 76 uh, province Chamber of Commerce oh. within our group we call Thai Chamber of Commerce. Another hat we call Board of Trade. Board of Trade consists of Thai Chamber of Commerce. We consist of a trade association. We have about 100, uh, 150 trade association. For example, hotel association, uh, tourist association, many things like that. We have association. And also another part we call Foreign Chamber of Commerce. We have about maybe uh, 40 chamber of commerce, uh, foreign chamber of commerce within our network. So altogether we have about 100,000 members. So these 100,000 members, we have very good network. Mm -hmm. So everything we try to listen to our customers need, that mean our members want to do. So right now our members want to 
also push the economy forward. So in provincial right now, we just come back from our uh, annual meeting. So every provincial want to have the generate income for each uh, location, each provinces. Mm. So that is, that's a good thing that we want to do it. So how can we help them? Mm. How can we help each province to do it? So, uh, so right now what, what we, we discussed the other day, with how can we uh, use a 4.0, uh, uh, the government scheme to use it. 4.0 is use a, a digital uh, technology transformation to help to help, help this part. So right now we have the uh, our uh, chamber of commerce uh, policy saying that Ning Hong Kan Ka has been one provincial chamber ah. should have one you know uh, digital transformation platform mm -hmm. or digital transformation project to do it in each province. At least we gonna have next year at least seventy six uh, digital. Uh, platform transformation platform 76 so that should be helping you know more digitals in each uh, in provinces and also another one we have another KPI is uh, one provincial chamber should help one uh, mm -hmm. Tong is village promotion so that's the part we have to do how can we generate more income to each village at least one province one village have to help and that's be part and also we have another KPI one provincial chamber should help one uh, agricultural co-op so that that be part to generate more income for the farmers that that that's our our scheme we talk to each other and that's be part and also right now Thai Chamber of Commerce we have another group of people they call YEC young entrepreneur chambers ah. so this is a young generation that help come to help the chamber each chambers so that the part that they can you know use a technology they can come yeah you know, with the old old generation we don't know the how to use the new technology for transformation like that mm -hmm. digital transformation but why you see they can help mm -hmm. so that our strategy to do it yeah. so uh, so far that we think that a 4.0 is a good good uh, scheme mm -hmm. and that attached into the national strategies mm -hmm. so what we did is we using national uh, twenty year strategies, national strategy, to be the the the, the, the flagship of our 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 plan also, and how can we reach that? We have to help each other yes. to reach that part. Yes. No doubt that that um, Thailand uh, Thailand Chamber of Commerce play a vital role in um, helping you know the the private sectors, of course the entrepreneur. As you mentioned, since you mentioned the a number of government policies such as the Thailand 4.0, but uh, among other things, we also have the, the uh, you know, policy of digital economy. We have um, you know the policy or the, the um, you know, policy of leaving no one behind and um, inclusiveness. Um, how does this create opportunity, um, job opportunity or trading opportunity? First of all, uh, we have to touch on the EEC first. Yes. So I think the EEC will generate more income, and also how can we have what you said left no one behind. So if a new project, that means more jobs. If more jobs, that means have to be trained, trained more and more. With 4.0, a lot of uh, new technology will be used, new digital technology will be used, uh, more automation will be used. So that means that we use less people. So how can we train the existing people, the farmer people? use the new technology mm -hmm. to help to uh, uh, grab these opportunities. For example, EEC, you have a lot of people will be in mm -hmm. here. That means more food which we, we, we eat, mm -hmm. right, we eat in the future. So more food we have to supply to this, to this area. So around the, these uh, provinces, we have to get more productivities for the farming to supply food into, to this area. That means, you know, the new Vicharat, uh, one part mm -hmm. we call uh, modern farming, that we have to help generate food income, you know, food uh, processing into this area. Mm -hmm. And also at the same time, we have to train, train uh, the farmers or individuals who have existing job right now to grab these opportunities for the new, you know, the digital uh, innovation that you come to EEC. Mm -hmm. For example, the new factories that we come here, that there are new five or ten new S curve, and also another one is for the tourism. Easy, we have a tourism area to mm -hmm. generate income for this part also. 
So we be lots of opportunities. Mm -hmm. And also another one that, that I'm, I'm really appreciate about the, the card, the social member card, mm -hmm. the social welfare card mm -hmm. that for the low income. Mm -hmm. So that I think is a good idea that how can we uh, get the new technology to know who is who each province, mm -hmm. uh, what type of uh, money, what type of facility or welfare they need for individual and you can direct the money to them right away. Mm -hmm. So that is, is a good idea. So I think that's like how can we uh, distribute the income, mm -hmm. distribute the, the, the money to the, uh, the village people. Mm -hmm. So then after that, these village people, we can, we can generate more income, many turns, mm -hmm. you know, to, to the economy. Yeah. World Bank has, uh, you know, announced that Thailand uh, is doing business index has, been, has improved significantly, uh, increased 20, 20. 20 rank. Yeah. So what does that mean Move to Thailand? Yeah. From 46 until 26, so it moved up 20 ranks. That means that right now we're doing business easier. Mm -hmm. So this is, I actually, I really like to uh, encourage the foreign uh, investor to come to Thailand more and more. That means right now you come to Thailand, e beside you eat Thai food, you see Thai people, you can, we have a very uh, helpful environment for, uh, for invest, investment in Thailand and the business in Thailand, they have op opportunities for example, EEC, new S curve, so many things like that coming along. Mm -hmm. So right now, the Pacharat, you know, Pacharat is a private, public and private collaboration that uh, Thai Chamber of Commerce took part in 12 groups together. And this part, we try to, you know, uh, generate more environment that uh, Thailand can be in the future. How can we reduce all the red tape? Can, how can we reduce all these uh, nonsense uh, rules or regulations so make an environment for the business to come to Thailand more and more so that's part of it yeah. before we go any further by uh, improving or moving up to the rank is mm -hmm. this a phenomenon it is how is yes. this something happened before no it never happened before uh -huh. because right now uh, the Thai uh, no, actually it's a Thai team I mean Thai team mm -hmm. so from the the private sector side we have to see what's going on exactly what what's the real going on what the facts going on so we can fill in what what, what type of uh, improvement you know when the survey come mm -hmm. at the same time the government improved themselves also uh -huh. you know the, for the revenue department from the customs department every every department they help each other at the same time we have the feedback the private sector have to feedback the government also this is the problem this problem this problem so this corporate look you know, really well. So that's why it's kind of, uh, the, the ranking coming up. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sure that the government determined to, to improve you know, our uh, ease of doing business index. You know, if you, um, you know, were asked to provide input to the government, what would be your comment? Input to the government in the future? Or in now? the future. In the future, uh, in my point of view, I think that government right now is improving but still need room to improve. For example, in each, in each uh, ministri ministries, they're working as a silos. How can you work together? So I think it's a good direction already right now, government using the electronics, uh, I mean digital technology to help cooperate uh, each agendas, uh, like in each uh, department, in each uh, ministries to use and combine in, as a combine as a one agenda. So I think it's a good idea, so it's coming along. Mm -hmm. So in the future, I would like to uh, recommend that uh, when you come and see as a issues, not one functions. Ah. Uh, that's a, that's a one, uh, one of my suggestions. And also um, one stop service to be good. Mm -hmm. So the government, uh, I heard it's set up very soon, but I'm not yes. sure when. Mm -hmm. Right now, I have a one-stop service for BOI. It's a good idea, but ha can you extend from BOI to other things? Ah. Uh, for example, when you want to, uh, for example, I'm I'm walking from from other countries. I want to invest in Thailand. Where should I visit? And where should I get the apartment? Where should I get the the maid? Where should I you know, stay? Something like that should be in one place. Uh -huh. Right. Well, I'm sure that you've been working closely with the uh, Foreign Chamber of Commerce. 
what have been the reaction from them, you know, under these circumstances? The foreign chamber of commerce, uh, they are in within our organisations, and the foreign chamber of commerce right now is concerned mostly about work permit. Uh -huh. uh, that uh, work permit. So every ninety days, they have to report, you know, report, and where do are they, and have to actually in old days have to report in person. So right now it's improving, you know, you can uh, put your in the letter or let other people go report for you that you are here. So in my point of view, maybe we should change your view a little bit. Maybe if this person still in Thailand, the same passport, same address, you don't have to report. But if this person moving to other place, you should report. Mm -hmm. That more other views, you know. Because sometimes these people then they they are executive. They have people from you know from other country won't won't come to invest in Thailand, they have assisting and they didn't move any apartment. If they move apartment, they move the place. So you have to report. Mm -hmm. So that would be better than every 90 days, no matter what you have to. And also, can we have the separate, you know, type of immigration permits, you know, for the uh, low skill labor and also for investors. Maybe you should have a separate. Uh, Just permit. recently, yeah. you um, a company Maybe not a company, but you joined a, I mean, prime minister trip to, to abroad, to um, I think to the U.S. Right. You know, how, uh, would you, would you mind talking about that trip? Oh yes. Uh, at that time, uh, I went with uh, about maybe twenty uh, investors, not investor. I mean, the one who invests already in yes. America. We went there to America, to uh, uh, to Washington D.C. At that time, uh, we. We have a brief for our prime minister that what business are we doing in U.S. At the same time, once or when the, the president, uh, our prime minister went to see President Trump. At the same time, that time we went to see U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Mm. So we we want to have a, like a uh, our connections, U.S. Chamber of Commerce and Thai Chamber of Commerce. That how can we work together in the futures? Mm -hmm. So right now we. Next year we will have a big plan. Ah. So next year will be mark 185 years that former relationship between Thai and U.S. Yes. So next year we will have the the the, the, the investor from U, from U.S. come to Thailand. Uh, we have big events about maybe mid mid of next year. Uh -huh. So we start conversation already. Yeah. If I ask you to to uh, forecast or to talk about the um, prospect of the Thai economy. What would be your view? I talked with the Secretary General of, of and the Sapapat, you know, the what's called National Development Board. Yes. Right. I talked to him and and said the forecast this year probably probably plus more more than four percent this year. Mm -hmm. uh, in the Thai Chamber of Commerce, we have UNOC Thai Chamber of Commerce that we we forecast it next year, and this year probably more than four percent. And next year, probably more than four percent. And right now, the, the we also, you know, see Thai Chamber of Commerce. We uh, f the survey the sentiment of the the invest the investor in Thailand. So right now, the sentiment of confident. I mean, the the confidence of doing business in Thailand is improving, and also sentiment of doing business in the future is improving also. Mm -hmm. So for us. Uh, we talk with many our members. We think that next year we better. We'll be better this year. Mm -hmm. At the same time, next year we will be we call amazing Thailand tourism year. So that will be another plus. You know, beside beside tourism, we have export and also more generate income to the our grassroots mm -hmm. uh, uh, people. And also, and uh, in in Thai Chamber of Commerce next year, we want to focus more and more to the village people. How can we add values to the village people? So we have a scheme called Thai Te. Have you heard about? Yes. About it? Yes. Thai Te is mean that how can we generate? I mean, how, how can you add value to the village ah. with the technology, creativities, and how can we add values? You know, with our uh, Thai cultures that we call Thai Te. That means that how can we, you know, use our, uh, you know, our cloth, our way of life in each village. 
we have identity, identity of each village. How can we lift that thing up so people can come to see the village mm -hmm. and also how can we use a product in each village to distribute out throughout the world mm -hmm. using new technologies mm -hmm. or e-commerce or something like that. In our talk, you mentioned yeah. a lot about about the village people, you're talking about um, people at, at um, low level who have, who have less income. Government you know, is working very hard in order to make sure that we can distribute opportunity to um, you know, those people. So um, anything that you would like to suggest that you know, we need to find the best practice to look after those people? Yes, uh, I think a government right now has a good idea to use it, we call it Net that means that a user internet to all the village, 75,000 village, in uh, middle of next year, the internet will be in every village. What I heard from minister, ministers of the digital technology. So I think it's a good idea for that part. But another part is how can we use, how can each village people can utilize this internet. That's very, very important. important. Yeah. So that's our job also. Know, for our job at Thai Chamber of Commerce, I, I believe that many organizations would like to help this part mm -hmm. to train you village people how to use it, how to uh, make make use of it. That means that how can we get the knowledge from that, and also can how can we use that to be like uh, the, the the distribution channel for that. Uh -huh. That's very important. Uh -huh. So right now the Thai Chamber of Commerce we are working on that that part mm -hmm. so that. We have about maybe six, seven months left, so we have to help them right away. Mm -hmm. So that, that part that, that we help the, the grassroots. Yeah. And also another part that uh, uh, we'd like to help is uh, how can we train, yeah. train them. I mean, train them like Ning Hong, Ning Rai, Ning San, you know, the program called Ning Half an Acre. Yeah. You have half an acre, we generate in income more than 100,000 100, baht. baht yeah. that's, that's our scheme. So yeah. in, each, in each land, we like to generate, maximize uh, productivity, mm -hmm. maximize the profit from that land. So right now, instead of using only grow only rice, we have to grow the food that the customer need. I mean, demand-driven demand -driven products. I mean that sometimes you need the fruits, sometimes you need uh, the, some, the farming products, for example, you have the pig or chicken in the village, or the fish, something like that. You have to integrate it within in one uh, uh, small area. Yeah. So that part that we generate. So that we have a good model, and after that we roll out through other countries. Lots of work need to be done, you know, in short term, medium term, and long term. Uh, talking about about you know um, long term, right now the government introducing the. Um, a long-term plan for a country's economy. The, um, Next, we take you to meet with the, the Thai Chamber of Commerce and its chairman, Mr. Kalin Salasin. How do we support and encourage new Thai businesses? That's next week on The Insider. Then, we take you to the Young Entrepreneur Chamber of Commerce with Kun Prim Jitarun Paul, its chairperson. Could you please explain a little bit about the YEC and its role in Thailand's economic development. The objective which created the YEC is so that we have a younger generation to help in the Chamber of Commerce activities, which again correlate to the development of Thai economy. Thailand 4.0 policy. How does it support you and other young entrepreneurs in Thailand? I think it's a blessing that we have a thought of transformation. And if we looked into the essence of Thailand 4.0, which, uh, which is focusing on using um, our comparative advantage and turn it into competitive advantage.